Well, hello and welcome to Jim's uh, Radio Shop, and we're getting ready to do the final, final, final checkout on the OTL lamps that I've been working on for the last you know, almost six weeks, I think. So there they are in front of you, the two amps, and these are my speakers here, these large speakers. The stereo TV and that in the background is not connected in any way, it's just two speakers, two amplifiers, and for a source, I'm using my Sony uh, compact disc player, which is a vintage player, one of the very first ones to ever come out on the market. And in there I've got uh, some music, which should be suitable for testing these speakers. Now, if you look in the back, I have the speaker wires connected. So the speakers are actually connected. I also have the audio plugs in. Now, it makes me a little nervous because these amplifiers are basically wide open all the time. So if I've done something here that's going to set up a hum, when the uh, speaker protection closes, we're going to hear one heck of a hum come out of these speakers. So another thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the uh, offset voltage. Um, which is protected, so it can't go above a volt and a half, and my speaker should be able to withstand that quite easily. But, you know, I am putting my speakers at risk here. No doubt about it. Okay, so I think the basic steps are turn on one amp, let it come up, turn on another amp, let it come up. I have an additional cooling fan here, which I'm going to as well turn it on now. I have my meter ready in case I want to test, and I should test the offset. You know what I need? I need a screwdriver. Let's go get a screwdriver here. A quick jaunt through my house, back into my shop. We'll get the couple of screwdrivers back into my office here. And let me set the uh, camera up. about all the shaking. Here we go. Okay, with some trepidation. One last look. And screwdrivers in hand. You know, I'm going to clip need my bolt meter here. Hang on a second. Get some clip meters. This way I'll get an instantaneous read of the offset voltage. We'll do it one amp at a time. Okay, I think we're ready. Now I'm going to switch it on. It'll take 45 seconds, or about 40 seconds actually. And then this fan will start spinning. As long as that fan is spinning, the amplifier is working. It will be driving this speaker. We should hear nothing out of this speaker. Because I won't have the source on. The source is off. Okay. I think we're ready. Everybody got their fingers crossed. Here we go, amp number one. Okay, now we're counting for 45 seconds. And I'm watching this meter. Maybe you can see it, too. Okay. And I should have looked at a clock, because I don't know how long 45 seconds is. Watching the fan, and I better be ready to hit the switch here. Ready now. Get 
the offset voltage is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and falling. That's excellent. So we'll leave that operating. The speaker is definitely on. I can hear a very faint buzz, which is just coming from the wiring that I've done here. So I think we're ready for amp number two. Oh, I better turn. We're <laughs> gonna make a terrible mistake and make sure the volume is down on this. Okay. Ready on amp number two, let's move our meter over. We're down to 1.1, falling further, so that's good. Got one working. are glowing so bright and they're lighting up the uh, even in daylight they cast light right, so much. Okay. Ready again. Ready on amp number two. Here we go. Very good. 45 seconds. Fingers crossed, please. It's having a little more trouble with this end in terms of getting the offset voltage uh, lowered. So th this one may, may pop off. Let's watch and see. Ready on the adjustment. Ready on the switch. Don't get too close. You may jump. So this one needs more setup. So while we have this one connected, let's run some sound through it. This one we're going to have to balance again. Unfortunately. So on. Let the CD play in a little bit. Turn on the volume. Well, hopefully my old player works. Yeah, okay. Found out my player doesn't work anymore. But we did hear a little bit of sound come up. So this is not a very good sound source. Okay, we're going to shut off both amps. Now we'll have to go through the testing procedure on the one on the left, the setup, the setup procedure again, which I'm not going to do right at the moment. So, nothing too easy about any of this, is there? Okay, next video we'll... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll set up the uh, left amp properly. See you soon.